How you doing team? DJ Gibble here, hashtag show. We were recently asked a question, uh, something that came up in the podcast uh, months, years back, and it's been festering for a while. And uh, the question actually came from Jordan Kyle, and Jordan has asked, when is Scott going to stop f***ing the heroes about and eat a rolling pie? Well, Jordan, today's your lucky day. I know it's been a long time coming, but I, DJ Gibble, I'm going to go and I'm going to get a rolling pie and I am going to savour my first ever rolling pie and I'm going to give you my honest review of it. Honest review, unbiased opinion here on the Hashtag Show. So come along with me, dear heroes, as we go on a quest for a rolling pie. Come on. A few moments later. So I thought while we're waiting on the uh, on the pie to be collected, why don't we look at some pie facts? Pie facts. The Scotch pie originated in, believe it or not, Scotland. The Scotch pie is a double crusted pie. The filling of a Scotch pie is mince or mutton. There is a world Scotch pie championship that is held every year to find the greatest scotch pie in the world. And the 2020 winner is James Perry and Sons in Blair Gowrie. And your daily dose of fat and sodium can be consumed in one pie. But the average Scott pie only has 300 calories. A couple of places we could have gone, but I thought, keep it Greg's, keep it simple. We all know it, we've all tried it. And look at those little scotch pies. I mean, they don't look that great. All right, team, we've got everything we need. Uh, we've got the pies, we've got the rolls. I think that's it for a rolling pie. Um, it's taken that long to get across Edinburgh in this traffic. It's almost dark. That's how mental this it is. So um, we will head home and we'll taste our first rolling pie. Exciting. One eternity later. So this is what we got from Glorious Greg's. Uh, I should also add, this is the second Greg's I went to because the first one never had any pies, uh, all of which stone cold. Uh, and he's also just given me uh, the, the wrong pie. What the fuck is that? I don't even have a scotch pie. I, he seemed to have given me uh, a, a haggis pie. What the fuck is that? So that just sums up Edinburgh perfectly right there. So we've, got, we've got the wrong pie to do the video with. Which is brilliant, but we're still going to do it because you know what? This is what Edinburgh deserves. There you go. That's a butter roll. It's not even butter. It's margarine, and it's a it's a haggis pie. So that's great. So we'll warm this up in the oven, and uh, let's see how we go. On. Now I planned on Greg's being shit, but I never planned on a a monumental mistake such as a haggis pie. But I actually went to Crombie's of Edinburgh as well, quite a well-known butchers, and I got one of their good scotch pies and a pack of proper rolls, so we can give our rolling pie a real fighting chance. While we're waiting, the pie's getting ready, nice and roasty toasty, uh, I'm going to butter a roll, um, you can see from the horrific amount of margarine that is on the Greg's roll, even when I asked the guy for a buttered roll, he went, we don't have butter mate, is margarine okay, well it's going to have to be in it. I imagine you want quite a bit of butter on your butter roll. You're not having this to lose weight. You're having this to enjoy yourself. So let's lather it up and wait for the pies. Okay, first up is the old Gregory Haggis. Let's get that popped on the roll. And uh, I don't know what you would go for at home, but I think I'm going to go for a wee squirt of the old brown stuff. Brown sauce, just to add a little bit of flavour on there. Um, haggis pie, still unsure about this. Um, let's get it topped off. And listen, no, no judgement yet. I'm going to give it a fighting chance. Also, the crombies, the classic Scotch pie, roasty toasty there, burning the old fingers. Again, let's get some brown sauce on that. Let's no mess about here. Good big squirt. Good big squirt, excuse me. And uh, let's get it topped off, and then we'll go and do a wee taste test. Scotch pie versus haggis pie. Let's do it. So, we've got here, and I've cut them in half, so we can do the chefy thing where we see a, a cross-section of the... Uh, 
of the said roll. Uh, so this is the Haggis roll from Greg's and I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, it looks disgusting. Um, going by just warming it up, the pastry looks burnt. The ratio of mashed potato to haggis is way off and um, I don't have high hopes for this at all. Haggis roll, no, haggis pie on a roll from Greg's. First try. Here we go. I was expected messy, very messy. It's not a very pleasant eating experience. I'm sure I've heard people in the past picking off the crust, maybe that's the way to go. It's a mess, try to eat that, it's a mess. For my first rolling pie, there's probably people saying that I've gone completely wrong here by having haggis pie on a roll. It's crap, it's absolute crap. Out of 10, a three. Uh, Greg's, bitterly disappointing. The nation's favorite, Bitterly, bitterly disappointed. Uh, that will go to the tour manager and he will enjoy that. So let's now try a proper roll and scotch pie, which we should have had from Greg's, but instead we had that haggis. Straight away, far better roll. Um, I think we can see that. Much better roll. Um, a standard pie, good height on it. Let's have a look at the cross section. Look at that, dense. Let's give it a taste. The pie edge is so hard. The way to improve a pie, a rolling pie by a thousand percent, is to take that crust off. Some of you might be screaming at the camera saying, you should have done that before. Maybe I should have, more luckily, never told me that. The pie itself, very nice. You get a nice bit of seasoning. Good meat, soft. I'm happy with that. That's a good pie. You can see the way that it's, that it's eaten. The way that you're biting through it, good texture. That's a nice pie. Crombies of Edinburgh, definitely the winner over Greg's. But honestly, after having a rolling pie, I, I don't see the point in it whatsoever. As far as I'm concerned, stick a rolling pie up your ass. It was it was all right, but I will not be going out my way to have another one. Jordan, I hope that cleared things up. Finally, I've had a rolling pie, and uh, in conclusion, I don't know what all the fuss is about. Until next time, come a hero. Enjoy the show. See you later. Hi, everybody. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.